Hello, in this video we're going to go over how you um, create uh, tables in Word documents using Python. So if you've watched the la previous video on simple writing you will know that we'll need to import two, doc uh, two modules, we'll need docx and <coughs> if you want the um, Word document to be opened upon the script's execution you'll need the um, OS module as well. So there we go. Um, and then we're going to define our document as a doc, so well as the variable docs. We're going to do doc equals docx dot document. Okay. And we're going to add a, add a title to it um, just so it's not uh, just a table in the document. So we're just going to do doc dot add heading um, table document. And um, we're going to set the heading um, level to zero, i.e., making the making it a title. So, in a table, we store information. So we're going to need to um, create this information. Now, a um, you can use any sort of two D structure, two D data structure for this. So, I'm going to use a list of lists. But you can have a tuple of tuples, or a list of tuples, or a tuple of lists for this. So I'm going to do a um, uh, list of lists. So we're going to make our records equal to um, and then you want to um, make the 2D array. So 2D list. So anyway um, so in this first in this list here um, uh, well, since we're gonna, I'm gonna make use the example of a restaurant, um, restaurants menu, um, for this. So, we're gonna have three columns. We're gonna have the ID of the meal, the meal name, and the price. So, let's go for one as our ID for this first meal, and we're gonna call it chicken, pasta, bake. Okay, and then we're going to have our um, price there which will be four pounds and fifty pence okay so now we're going to press comma and then actually I'm gonna I'm just gonna sp space this out a bit just for your for ease of for e ease of reading so there's our first list uh, defined there so we're gonna make our second our second uh, list or second um, uh, record. Um, so it's going to have an ID of two. I'm going to call it starfish cakes. Um, and then we're going to um, make that um, five pounds. Okay. And then we're going to put in. Um, our um, third uh, row here, so cod confit will do, I guess. Um, and we'll just make that price um, two pounds and 75 pence, okay? So there we go. So we have our 2D list, our, or l a list of lists. So here's the list, and then inside it, we've got more lists, okay? Um, comma separated obviously. Um, okay, so now we've got our data. Um, we're going to now add or create our table. So we'll make our table. So I guess um, we'll call this menu table. Menu table. Yeah, okay. Now that's going to equal doc dot add underscore table okay now this is where you're going to need to use your own um, discretion um, so for the for the um, first for when we're creating the table I'm gonna do it so that um, we'll just have the first row with the headings defined first so um, I'll show you what that means uh, later but essentially do row equals one and then do 
calls, standing for columns obviously, um, and then how many columns your table will have. So in our case, we've got three columns, so we're going to put three down there. Okay, um, then we're going to style our table. If you don't put a style in, um, the table looks a bit uh, per, shall we say, um, a bit plain. So we're going to, um, in fact, it doesn't even look like a table. It's just that, like, the, um, it's just that the uh, data is separated out into three columns. It's not a real table. Um, so we're going to make our style, um, table.style. Now, sorry, I've just made a mistake there. So it should be, for in my, my case, menu table. Yep, so match that, okay? Because we're ed editing the attribute of the table. Um, now we're going to put in our header cells. So header underscore cells um, equals table dot rows um, index of zero dot cells okay so um, this is just accessing the first row of the table which we've already defined here um, okay so um, header underscore cells square bracket square bar index of zero so that's going to be the first um, first uh, column of our table so we're accessing um, the first columns heading here okay um, and that's going to be dot text um, okay so we're as we're adding the text in and that's going to be ID okay and then you can assume then that he <coughs> header underscore cells <coughs> now square bracket one dot text equals uh, meal name and then finally um, we'll do header underscore cells square bracket two dot text equals price um, 0, 1, 2, because um, indexes start at 0. Then we're going to do a um, for loop, because we're going to iterate through our records. Um, so, that's in order to add them. So, for um, id, comma, uh, name, name of meal, so I hold meal, yeah, there we go. Price, okay, in records. So what's that? Let me explain that line. Um, so for each list, essentially, um, so f and each, each, each list contains these three things, so we're essentially just accessing them. Um, uh, let me see. Um, we're going to do, uh, yeah, row underscore cells equals table dot add underscore row. So we're adding a new row dot cells, um, new row of cells. Um, and then in this new row, um, we're going to do the same sort of thing as we did up here um, with the dot text and then adding um, the, uh, um, what do you call it, adding the text. Um, it's important to keep everything a string, so if you've got an, ID, if you've got an integer in there, um, you're going to need to change that to, um, or cast that as a string. Um, same with floats and reels, or oh, they're same thing, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so row underscore cells square bracket one dot text equals name of name of meal. Okay, 
and then row underscore cells square bracket to dot text equals price okay price oh my goodness sorry I miss mistyped there price okay so so uh, for every uh, list in this list we're going to add a new row of cells and we're going to append these this information and the reason why they, this this and this is red um, is because I, I instead of calling it table I keep keep doing that it's menu table so just just bear that in mind um, I mean for this we could have just called it table but I wanted it to, if you, you um, but if you had multiple tables in your word document obviously you'd, you might get confused if you just call it table and it would actually be incorrect because you would be configuring both um, that's why you need to give unique names typically to the uh, tables so menu table but it's it's quite simple enough because you're just defining it there and then editing its uh, sta its uh, attributes there so dot style dot rows uh, dot add row and um, the same sort of method applies to adding columns there when you do dot add underscore call for adding columns um, but anyway um, then all you have to do is do doc dot save doc dot save um, and let's call this just table dot docx and there we go um, anything else oh yes and then our uh, launching um, line here so os dot system uh, like we did uh, in the previous video uh, start and then table table dot dot x okay so there we go. So let's run this now. Oh, we're missing something here. Hold on. Type error, add underscore table, got an unexpected keyword argument row. Oh, hold on now. Let me see this menu, da 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 da, -da rows. If I sp oh, because I did a set of, set of row, I put rows. Oh, sorry about that. Um, that easy mistake to make. So you didn't catch that. Um, I forgot the S of rows there. So we'll run that again. Sorry about that. Okay, and now it works. Sorry about that. Um, but we're all human. Um, okay, so we've got our table here. Great. So table document as our heading, our title. Um, and then our um, table here. Um, all neatly, uh, neatly there. Now... Looking at this table um, for a moment, it's a bit boring, isn't it? It's a bit, you know, a bit boring. So what we can do is we can go into design, right? Um, and obviously pick a design we like. Um, so I quite like the, um, where is it? There's something um, that I, um, where? It's quite hard with this um, this uh, this setup here. No, not that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, grid grid. Um, is it that? No. Yes, it is that. Uh, grid grid table four or any of these. These are good because. Um, I mean, if your table had like, um, you know, like ID, well, actually th th that could work as well. I'm just saying that there, there's different styles here, right? Um, so let's just go for a random one anyway, but um, I'm just saying there's different styles that you can make your table to make it look nice. Um, okay, now obviously if you select that now and then save it, that's grand, but then whenever you go to run the script again, the Python won't be um, Python won't um, select that style for you. You're gonna have to now explicitly um, uh, put it in here. So um, where are we at? Where right? So for our menu table style, we can change it from table grid, which is the basic style, um, into something a bit nicer. So um, medium. Let's go for medium. Uh, shading 
two, space accent three. Okay, and we'll run this now. And as you can see, we've got um, a nice style selected for this. Um, makes it look a bit bit nicer. Um, now, um, it's important to note just with that. Um, see where we've got um, the name. If you just hover over the, um, if you just hover over the, uh, des uh, the design or the style, even um, it'll produce the name of it. See, it says medium shading to dash accent free. Uh, you have to remove the any um, dashes or hyphens that you see. So medium sh medium shading to accent free. There's no dash there. All right. So that's how you des the change the style of the table. And yeah, so that's how you make a um, that's how you uh, create a table um, in a Word document using Python. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.